How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1985 Series 1 Mask Vehicle Firecracker with driver Hondo McLean. Very nice vehicle. Now, Firecracker here was one of the shared vehicles. It was predominantly driven by Hondo McLean in the show, but um, it was driven a couple of times by Buddy Hawks um, in some of the episodes and so forth. But let's take a look at Hondo real quick. All right, here's Hondo McLean. Really nice fig. Um, Got a little bit of play wear and paint wear on mine. Um, have had it since I was a kid, but very nice looking. I love what Kenner did. They put a lot of detail in such a small fig. I mean, you can kind of see just a kind of a ripple kind of effect in the jacket. You got the binoculars up front. You got the nice holster for his pistol and so forth. Articulation's the same as all the rest of the mask figs, so I'm not going to really showcase that. Now, he does come with his mask here, Blaster which is the smallest mask in the entire line. It just covers his eyes. It's a really cool mask. I do like it. Now, Kenner actually made or actually went back and tweaked the mask for choking hazard purposes, so they added actually more plastic to it. So you could, if you're looking at getting this guy, there could be this version of the mask that you could um, come across and so forth. Um, just be aware of that. I kind of like this one just because it's more show accurate. I don't know if there's an actual difference in value, but um, if you're looking at picking up this guy, I would try and, you know, find, I guess, this version of the mask. So, all right, let's take a look at Firecracker. All right, here's Firecracker. Really nice looking orange pickup truck. Not one of my favorite mass vehicles. It's probably because I wish there was a little bit more to the actual attack mode, but we'll get into that in a second. But Canner did a great job with just the look, the amount of detail that they put into it. Just a fantastic job. Got the nice rubber tires, the chrome wheels, the chrome front end, clear windows. To the amount of detail that they actually put into the cab of the truck, I mean the steering wheel, the gear shifter, seats, even they actually have the pedals. You know, it's just a really great job that they did, um, so forth. Now, it does have this extra vehicle, which is featured in the show, this nice little motorcycle. You can unclip that. It's got some... Decent detail also. Plastic wheels, but still not too bad. You can put Honda on it. Like so. And it does have these little kind of kickstands, so it does stay upright on its own, which is really nice. All right. Transform Firecracker into its attack mode. Actually, one last little thing. You can actually take this bit off if you want which is also a common missing piece to this um, set so keep an eye out for that but I like the fact that you can actually open and close the tailgate I think that's kind of a really cool feature and so forth a lot of playability a lot of you know realism and so forth but okay transform it into its attack mode there's a little slide button right down here push that back pops it up and you have it in its attack mode. Another little gimmick it has, which the springs, because this is kind of an older toy, is not as strong as it used to be, but you pull back on this little slide black piece right here and it actually launches the tire there, which is really cool. I do like that. I mean, everything we saw on the show, you get with the toy, which is really nice. You get the nice dual tires there. Now you have the, um, front guns, and then you have these back guns, which is the other common um, missing piece on this vehicle. Are these little guns right down here, but still, it's it's not too bad of a vehicle. I do think that I wish there's a little bit more to it, but it does look nice, um, you know, and if you're a mask fan, definitely worth picking up and so forth. Not really sure on the price, um, especially if you're trying to look for, like, the Honda that has the short um, mask. Um, opposed to the um, kind of the safety regulated one, but um, I'm assuming not too terribly expensive for this guy. Just make sure that, you know, it's complete, has the guns there, has a nice little, you know, connector bit, which is not, you know, snapped off or whatnot, and so forth. So this has just been a really quick look at the 1985 Firecracker with Hanna McLean, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.